Welcome to African Lazy Part 2, paying homage to Louis Howard Latimer's parents. We cannot talk about Louis Howard Latimer without speaking about his parents. Africa once said in passing, Lewis Howard Latimer was a unique African or African-American inventor in the 19th century who graced us with life-changing inventions for the betterment of our lives today. Without Sir or Osagiful Lewis Howard Latimer's ingenious invention of the light bulb's carbon filament, we would not be enjoying the benefits of the illumination of the light bulb we take for granted today. Papa Africa says it's time to start correcting inaccuracies which have been perpetrated for millenniums. Osagifu or Sir Lewis Howard, Latimer's parents were called George and Rebecca Latimer. Osajifu or Sir Louis Howard Latimer's parents were very brave. On 4th October 1842, they broke free from the talons of the wicked slave master called James B. Gray in Virginia, arriving in Boston four days later. And guess what? At the time of their escape, Rebecca Latimer, which is Lewis's mother, was pregnant, which is indicative proof how nefarious the act of slavery was for a pregnant woman to risk everything, including her unborn child, to embark on such a precipitous journey. James B. Gray was livid upon discovering George Latimer's escape. He put out a bounty with a reward of $25 in Virginia, which was an equivalent of $789.94 today in 2020, and a $50 reward worth $1,579.94 today in 2020, when captured outside Virginia. George Latimer was sadly captured and arrested on 20th October 1842 on the charge of blasphemy. Wow! When one looks at the meaning of lastly in the lexicon, it states the wrongful taking and carrying away of the personal goods of another from his or her possession with intent to convert them to the taker's own use. This is indicative proof that slave masters or persons who went and captured slaves or Africans as slaves were also committing an offence of larceny. But of course, it's one rule for another group of people and another rule for another group of people. The English law definition of larceny was updated in 1968 as theft of a personal property. When James B. Gray received a letter stating George Latimer was in Boston, his pride soared. So much so, he began pounding his chest by flexing his muscles to send a signal to the rest of his property, emphasizing if any of them dared escape, he will find them and bring them back to the plantation. But James B. Gray was royally brought down to size with a humiliation. News of George Latimer's case or predicament 
became a political ping pong in Massachusetts, and James B. Gray was unable to retrieve or reclaim his property, George Latimer, which was a slap in the face on how he boasted about bringing George Latimer back to Virginia. James B. Gray had to swallow his pride. He was eventually paid $400, equivalent of $12,639.07 in today's money for George Latimer's freedom. We salute Osajifu Osei Louis Howard Latimer's parents George and Rebecca Latimer for their courageous escape. Without their brave decision on escaping from Virginia to Boston on 4th of October 1842 for their freedom, Lewis Howard Latimer might not have been born nor would have had the opportunity to invent the light bulb and the telephone we all enjoy today. Had his parents not fought for their freedom, Lewis Howard Latimer's inventions and patents would have become the property of James B. Gray because in 1633 the courts in Virginia, the 13th colony America, set a precedent by declaring that a child born to a slave mother is also a slave. How dreadful. Leave a comment and let's get to a thousand subscribers for more stories about Louis Howard Latimer and his courageous parents. Stay tuned for part three.